respite for the UK's ailing car industry. New car sales are down by nearly a third last month. Nearly 314,000 new cars were registered in March, 13.5% lower than the same month last year. Well, the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders has said the fall showed the government needed to do more to boost confidence to increase demand. Well, in Wales, the Welsh Assembly government has taken direct action. It's putting cash into the car industry. But is it working? We're at Davis reports. Kay Williams is a skilled mechanic and has been working at the Calsonic factory here in Llanelli for the last 10 years. But in recent months, as the car industry has all but collapsed, she has become increasingly concerned about her job. It's, it's really worrying me. You've got a house, you've got a family, you've got them to support. There are no other jobs out there. So when you see people that you have worked with for seven, eight, nine years going out the door, and you think, oh my gosh, I could be next. It, it's really it's very, very stressful. This factory has been here since the 1940s. They now make radiators and other under-the-bonnet parts for Land Rover, Nissan, Volkswagen and many others. But business is down by 40%. So the Welsh Assembly Government has stepped in with PROACT, grants of £4,000 to 80 workers, half as a direct wage subsidy, half for training. If we didn't have PROACT, we would have had to make a mass redundancy because we had no other option. We were losing money at an enormous amount every month. We had to do something about it. Uh, and then we'd have the problems of all the skills we'd have lost in that process. The purpose of this scheme is simple, to keep this company in business and its skilled workers in their jobs during the worst of the economic crisis. So if and when the automotive sector eventually recovers, everyone here will be in a much stronger position. While this scheme is helping to keep Welsh workers in their jobs, Direct competitors at Vistian plants in Northern Ireland and England are losing theirs and they're still in dispute over redundancy payments. With today's poor sales figures, thousands of jobs in the UK car industry are still under threat. The £48 million scheme in Wales won't solve long-term problems, but it does mean that some jobs here are safe for now. Rudd Davis, BBC News, Llanelli. The government may have to find an extra...